The US labor market is fundamentally different than it's ever been before in our history. For the first time ever, we have a huge problem of long-term unemployment. People who've been out of work for at least six months, millions of them. And the big question is, through that long period of unemployment, have they lost skills? Have they lost hope? Have they managed to maintain relevance to the labor market? If they haven't, there's a huge effect that, that'll fundamentally change how our economic recovery will proceed. And so the authors take a very close look at this, trying to examine the relationship between inflation and unemployment, it's what we typically call the Phillips curve, and the number of job vacancies in unemployment, what we call the beverage curve. And their claim is, it looks as if the short-term unemployed are still very relevant to our usual economic processes, but the long-term unemployed look less relevant. Now the most striking fact in this paper is actually trying to think about what the long-term unemployed end up doing. We end up seeing some of them going on and getting jobs. That's the optimistic part of the story. Maybe about a third of them get jobs. Uh, at any point in time, if we look forward a year, about a third of them have jobs. But only about one in 10 of them have what look like permanent, lasting jobs. A lot of, it turns out a lot of long-term unemployed, even when they find work, it turns out to be incredibly unstable work. So it looks very much like there's two labor markets. There's labor markets for those who are connected, who are short-term unemployed, who've kept their skills and kept hope, and the real fear is it looks like those who are long-term unemployed never fully regain their position as part of that labor market.